What's up guys? It's your boy Tony here. Going to Richmond, Virginia. AKA Cidercom, baby. With my boy Izzy here. What's good? The cider <laughs> connoisseur. And Water the, for now though. No ciders or Bloody Marys for us yet. Not yet. Not yet. Soon to come. I'm ready for this trip. Should be a good one. So, we're excited. Queen Orchard taking over, you know? Queen Orchard, baby. Yes, sir. Richmond now. We made it. Home of the <laughs> Pelicans. Just kidding. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but we missed the sunset today. Sun just went down. Literally. Like it went down within like two minutes. Sunrise is uh, slower and the sunset is faster. Sun rises in the east, but it settles in a finer location. As is intended. So that's what it looks like guys. Check a bam. Let the cider tours begin. <laughs> Richmond Cider Tour 2022. Let's get it, boys. Get ready to rock and roll. Here at Bryant Cider. Something like this. Let's yeah, get the yeah. tasting. Get the tasting, baby. Hey, welcome to Brian Cider. We have three mainstays that we're trying today. The first one is gonna be Bright Good. It's a gold medal winning uh, bare bone cider that's infused with oak tannins. The second one is gonna be Unicorn Fuel, which is infused with rose hips and hibiscus, and it's pink in flavor. It's very good. And then we also have something juicy, which is modeled after New England IPA. It's infused with hops and orange peel. So we have a farm in Roseland, Virginia, that's a few hundred acres in size where we primarily do all of our cidering. And then we have this tasting room right here in Richmond, Virginia, where you can try some of our ciders and we do some small special release stuff right here in the back. Right, we have these three tastings. Do you know what they are, Izzy? I do. Root good, the unicorn fuel, and something. Something. That's literally what the name is, something. SJ. Cider reviews. I'm gonna start off with the uh, something juicy. Pretty dry. Very dry. Does it smell kind of weird to you? Of course it smells kind of weird. Okay. So this is like the base of all those cider. Let's go with the unicorn fuel next. This is where your ice cream comes from. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. It kind of smells like uh, berries. Yeah, that's all I smell. Very tart. Very sour. Kind of like a medicine taste to it. This is the, the bright food. It smells like minty. Ooh, it's got the hops in there. You can taste the hops. Smell it. It smells like a beer. For sure. My favorite one is the Simple Juicy. Second, I would go the Bright Good. The Unicorn Fuel is, is my last. Because I get that medicine taste and it's not the greatest. Brian's side was the first stop. So far, so good. So far, so good. Check out the tap frame. Wow, I have 
right here. be a mess sometimes but we think it has a turns into a really great product and uh, we use wine barrels we use bourbon barrels whiskey barrels we even use some tequila barrels just trying to do things a little different around here than the standard we do use no chemicals yeah uh, so i'm glad y'all could all come take a look around Do a food review. Food's all gone. <laughs> yeah, we just did some cider pairings here. Let me read it off to you. Some deviled eggs, which were amazing, by the way. We got the Sonoma salad. I didn't get to try because it has pecans in it, so I'm kind of allergic to peanuts. Yeah, I'm allergic to nuts and stuff, so I got to be careful. Really? <laughs> um, aside from that, the squash is delicious. And then you had the chicken confit in biscuit sauce, which was amazing. Chickens are all from this farm. And I'll say this, I haven't had meat this good since I used to go to Mexico all the time. Some good stuff here. The cider, amazing. All the pairings go really well with the food. I mean, if you look at my plate, it's gone. Everything but the nuts. Everything but the nuts, baby. I'll take a pound of nuts. That's a lot of nuts! It's one thing you gotta know about Izzy. He don't eat any nuts. It's one thing you gotta know about him. Especially out here. Not too sure where the nearest hospital is, just in case, you know? We don't know where the hospital is, so uh, can't eat any nuts. Can't go wild. Here's my plate. Thought all the food was super good, too. It's all made here on the farm. They do uh, all these three different pair or actually they had four different pairings here, which were really nice. Made with all different types of cider apples. Apples. You can see this this one here to the left was very light and easy to drink had a little bit of character to it This middle one here had some almost spicy flavor to it And then this dark one is they made on their farm, which was a lot of flavor. I think it's barrel aged I think that's why it got that look to it that color and then this one was some Harrison apple, which they called Revival because I guess the, uh, the apple isn't, it like almost went extinct or something like that. But we have some of that on our farm too, so that was pretty cool to see. 
Yeah. All the par pairing was a good idea. I really like the salad with the uh, caramelized pecans, which were nice. I like that. And they have a little other bar over here, which I'll hit up here pretty soon on more pickled things. But overall, I think this was the coolest one so far. Yo, what's up guys? Day two, CiderCon with my boy Izzy here. We're going into interview time, everybody. Interview is going down. All right, Izzy. <laughs> All right, man. What do you need to know? Hold on, hold on, we have to take our masks off. We have to be COVID unfriendly for a little Hello. bit. There we go. All right. What's going down? What did we do yesterday? Yesterday we went on a cider tour to five different ciders. That was a lot of fun. I uh, got to try some really interesting ciders. Biggest takeaway, what What was it? Biggest takeaway I've heard so far is it is insanely hard to grow apples out here. Uh -huh. And like the weather and like trees and stuff, it just, it's not easy out here to make cider. Yeah. Uh, a lot of hard work for sure from all of the cideries that we went to. A lot of good ciders, a lot of different ciders for sure. Nothing like anything that we make, for sure. Very different. It was good stuff. Interesting fact that at all the cideries, they have to have apple trees outside, <laughs> oh, outside yeah. of their place. So they put like five apple trees somewhere randomly on the property. So yeah, that's like a Virginia law. You gotta have trees. <clears throat> there was like literally times where we would show up to the cidery and they'd have like four trees just randomly planted out in the front. Yeah. They're like, we have to legally have these here in yeah. order to have a side view. Which yeah. is, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Oregon laws is a little different, I think, right? Yeah, you don't need to have any trees in Oregon. That's um, pretty cool. What else did we do? That was it. But uh, yeah, Richmond's a pretty cool place if you're into the cider. As I said, there's a sign behind this that says, Richmond is for cider lovers. Cider lovers. If you're true. lovers and you like cider, come to Richmond. True. Want to get that guy rapping on our YouTube channel? <laughs> Give him a shout out, but dude's dropping bars out here. Too, he ran away. <laughs> oh 